Tracy Kornack, a slip and fall lawyer from Grand Rapids and the treasurer of the Michigan Democratic Party, was accused last month by a nursing home director of trying to scam an insurance company of $50,000 in the name of an elderly brain damaged woman. That nursing home director, Joe LeBlanc, has since been fired. That's not the reason they gave me, but I think that's pretty much it. Um, but you know, what are you gonna do? I, I feel like I did the right thing. Um, you know, if somebody came to me and said, I think your business manager is shady, like, I'd be grateful. Meanwhile, Kornak and the Democrats are silent, hoping it all dies away. No way, we say. So we went to Grand Rapids to find Kornak's office. Tracy Kornak? No. Was it ever? I don't think so. Nope, not here either. P.O. box? What kind of law office is that? That's a very small, must be little furniture in that office. Finding no office, we went to Kornak's house in suburban Grand Rapids. Hello? People were inside. I saw the blinds moving, but they pretended they weren't inside. I'd like to talk to you about one of your clients. Did, in fact, your daughter apply $50,000 of care to this old woman? And why are you using somebody else's tax ID number? There is no record of your daughter being there. We like answers. We care about our old people. And then someone screamed out the window. Get the fuck out of that mailbox. I just caught you on camera. Say what? Let's hear that one more time. Get the fuck out of that mailbox! I just caught you on camera! M. Effer, from the upstairs window. Not what I'd expect from one of the most powerful Democrats in Michigan. That was friendly. Must be a lawyer. Neighbor said, I shouldn't be surprised. I moved in here. First thing she said to me was, move your car to my mailbox while we're unpacking, so. And ever since then, it's just been hate. Oh, never spoke to me. Never waves, nothing. Only that one time. That's the only time I've ever spoken with her. Really? How, how long have you lived here? Six years. Oh, wow. Yeah. So when my husband's outside, like we had somebody measuring for the property lines. You can't put up a fence there. That's my property line. So the guy said, no, it's not. That's their property line. So. Tracy, why can't you be nicer to your neighbor Terry over here? In the end, this is about the elderly of Michigan and how we treat them. Governor Gretchen Whitmer still refuses to address the true number of nursing home dead under her COVID policies. And her treasurer, Tracy Kornack, refuses to address $50,000 in mysterious billings she tried to pocket in the name of a brain damaged woman. And the man who blew the whistle on this all, he's out on his ass. I mean, at the end of the day, I wanna look back and be able to say five, 10 years from now, I did the right thing. and. Um, you know, to hell with the consequences, really. But um, no, I, I knew what was going to happen. I knew this was going to come. And um, I really feel good about what was said and what was done. And this is why people are afraid to do right by each other. That's the consequences. That is Joe's not afraid, and we're not afraid. We'll stay on this. We promise. And that's the truth. Big tech doesn't like it, big political parties don't like it, but if you like it, give us a like, give us a subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified. Remember, you can't sleep, watch the news. You want the news, no BS news hour.